thank you. Uh, before I get into my speech, I just want to uh, thank everyone that showed up here. I am so proud of my hometown right now. Yeah. Just the showing of support and solidarity. Yeah. 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 I'm a member of the uh, Atheist community of Colorado Springs in Pueblo. Live here in Pueblo. Now can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm a member of the Atheist community of Colorado Springs and Pueblo. I live here in Pueblo. Been here my entire life. We have members that have come down all the way from Castle Rock by way of California to show their support for what we're doing here. Wow. Well done, I ask you to bear with me. I'm not a public speaker, so this might be a little rough. <laughs> We stand here today a Pueblo united by higher ground, love. We stand united besides our differences. Different economic standings, different faiths and beliefs. Differences in the color of our skin and sexual preferences. Believing in one God, different gods, and no gods. We stand unified against hate. We understand that love is love, and that's all that matters. Our friends from Kansas like to travel around and spread the word of hate. But when you talk about hate, you need to look in the mirror. We stand steadfast, bonded, and forged by and for love. They yell that it's unnatural, that it's an abomination, yet homosexuality has been recorded in over 1,500 different species around the world. But there's no hate or malice in their world, only ours, only by people like them. So I wonder, doesn't that make hate unnatural and an abomination? Homosexuality is also well documented in a couple of species that differ from us by just over 1%, the chimpanzee and bonobo apes. Yet, those of us, like those of us that are here celebrating love, they also show other human characteristics, compassion, equality, understanding, and love. Based off that, I'd have to argue that these animals, these apes, show more humanity than members of our own species that do all they can to spread and spew hate. In closing, I invite our friends from Kansas to do something that the universe has done for billions of years, life has done for millions of years, and society as a whole has done for thousands of years. Evolve. <laughs>